this uh, Friday, what do we got? Friday the 12th. Now we do this, we tape these, so I'm, okay. All right, Friday the 12th. We're glad to be here to conduct our morning devotions when we gather in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen, and we begin with Psalm 14. Fools say in their hearts there is no God. They are corrupt. Every deed is vile. There is no one who does any good. The Lord looks down from heaven upon us all to see if there is anyone who is wise, who seeks after God. They've all proved faithless. All alike have turned bad. There is none who does good. No, not one. Have they no knowledge, all these evildoers who read up my people like bread and do not call upon the Lord? See how they tremble with fear because God is in the company of the righteous. Your aim is to confound the plans of the afflicted, but the Lord is their refuge. Oh, that Israel's deliverance would come out of Zion. When the Lord restores the fortunes of the people, Jacob will rejoice and Israel will be glad. Uh, I don't know, this, this psalm sounds like what people talk about now. Nobody believes in God anymore and uh, everything's a mess and, uh, uh, you know, we wait for God to... You know, uh, everything makes us uh, doubt our faith and this and that and the other thing. And, and the, the psalm says uh, that you know, God sees it all. You know, don't despair just because others, you, you, you walk your own path. You, you seek after God. If nobody else is with you, well, that's too bad. Uh, but the, pro the, the, the truth probably is more like what was revealed to Elijah uh, on, on the mountain when Elijah had a pity party and thinking, I'm the only one that's left. I'm the only one that believes in God. And God said, ah, there's a whole lot more folks. Just relax. Quit having this pity party. And so, again, what other people believe is their business. But you seek after God. God knows, God knows our hearts. As the psalm says, God, you know, I've got to find it here. Okay. Uh, God looks down from heaven on us all. So uh, that's, that's the truth. So continue faithful. I think that's the word. Just continue faithful. All right. Now, I'm going to read from the 39th chapter of Genesis, and I, I picked this section. There are in the Old Testament two uh, long parts of the Old Testament that are stories that surround one of our heroes. Uh, this story is, surrounds, of course, Joseph. The other longer section is from 1 Samuel and 2 Samuel, and really is a long, long telling of the story of David. But this story of Joseph, to me, is very fascinating and uh, very interesting, and of course Andrew Lloyd Webber uh, read, read through it and wrote the amazing uh, Technicolor Dreamcoat. I don't know if any of you are familiar with that, but it's, a, it's, an, awful, it's an awful fun uh, play with uh, about, the, about this Joseph story. So, all right, Joseph has been sold into slavery by his brothers who don't like him because he's a spoiled brat. And Joseph comes to Egypt and God looks after him and all of a sudden Joseph is uh, in, in this rich man, this powerful man, Potiphar, in his house. And uh, we're told that Joseph was uh, handsome, but uh, unfortunately Potiphar's wife thought so too, and tries to seduce Joseph. And he rejects her, and nothing like a woman scorned. And she tells the husband that Joseph tried to rape her. And so now Joseph ends up in the pokey. Well, that's what we're going to read about now. And when his master heard the words that his wife spoke to him, saying, this is the way your servant treated me, he became enraged. And Joseph's master took him and put him into the prison, the place where the king's prisoners were confined. He remained there in prison. But the Lord was with Joseph and showed him steadfast love. He gave him favor in the sight of the chief jailer, 
The chief jailer committed to Joseph's care all the prisoners who were in the prison, and whatever was done there was the one who did it. He was the one who did it. The chief jailer paid no heed to anything that was in Joseph's care because the Lord was with him, and whatever he did, the Lord made it prosper. And so, even in prison, God looks out for Joseph. Now, Joseph obviously has some gifts. He's obviously a leader. He, he obviously commands attention uh, through his demeanor and through his actions. And so he, a great deal of trust is placed on him, even in prison, by the, the chief warden. I'm sure he was glad to have somebody like Joseph there that, that he could, uh, could place some of the, the prisoners under his care. Okay, so now we have Joseph in prison and yet being favored by God. All right, so we continue. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Give us the joy of your saving help again and sustain us with your bountiful spirit. Give peace in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Keep the nations under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving help among all nations. Let not the needy be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and sustain me with your Holy Spirit. Lord, let my prayer come before you. Let us pray. Almighty God, you sent your Holy Spirit to be the, the life and light of your church. Open our heart to the riches of your grace, that we may be ready to receive you wherever you appear, through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. God, our Creator, you have given us work to do and call us to use our talents for the good of all. Guide us as we work and teach us to live in the Spirit who made us your sons and daughters, in the love that made us sisters and brothers, through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Almighty God, bless us. Defend us from all evil and bring us into everlasting life. Amen. Okay, well, a Friday, I hope that again, with the start of the weekend, TGIF, that it's a, a, a good day and that you, uh, that you have a, a good day Good start to whatever plans you have made for this weekend. Uh, just before we leave, one, one question. Why does a zebra have stripes? Well, because he doesn't want to be spotted. <laughs>